We've got a lot of confidence in Ryan. Ryan's a veteran player. Ryan's a, been around the block, and this won't be too too big for him. He knows this, and he's he'll be prepared, and he'll operate. We expect him to play well. What was that like for you? Uh, I guess the, the transition to him. Well, I mean, it's you go through contingencies all the time, and usually it's due to injury. So when you're going for the week, there'll be no to go through this week. You know, if Marcus has to play the second game. Bearing something happens, you know, he's got to be ready. And those two guys are, are you can't say because that those things can get ugly if you got the wrong character people. And those two guys, between Marcus and Ryan, you're not going to find two higher character people. And they'd handle it because the transition from Ryan, you got to remember when Ryan came in the spring, Ryan had never been a backup. And obviously we traded for him and he handled it like a true professional. And I know a lot of people use those cliches, but really behind the scenes, you, you can see it. And there's countless times when those things can be ugly. And both those guys prepare and Marcus is in this role now. It's going to be, it's an unusual for him, but Marcus is, I can't say enough about his character. But he's preparing and he's ready to roll if called upon. With Ryan coming in fresh, maybe right. confident and everything, how much is this now maybe a test of, of, of what you're running, what you're calling, what this offense is? Yeah, well, I think a lot of times too, you know, each week presents a different challenge and depending on what happens in the game, a lot of times can can take you out of stuff just dictating on where you get into situations. Like, obviously, Ryan comes in there, and it's the last couple drives, and we, we need to go at, score twice, obviously. And so you're a little bit higher tempo, or you're, you know, you're passing it a little bit more, or whatever the, situ- the circumstances of the game, and each week there are different challenges. And so the Chargers will present a different challenge than, obviously, Denver did, or Buffalo. And uh, we'll be ready to adapt, and we got faith that Ryan will be ready to go. How will, the, how will things look different? This moment for Marcus Ryan in terms of you know, the way he plays, the way things might operate. Yeah, they're they're little different players, but again, it goes back to week to week. You know, we unfortunately last year we we got into a similar situation. It wasn't obviously with the quarterback, but if you guys remember, we go into Buffalo and you know didn't didn't execute in, in the red zone, and we had to kick a bunch of field goals, and 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 then we go play Baltimore, and it obviously wasn't what we wanted, and then we ironically went to London to play the Chargers, and then so these things you know they come up and. Like I said, we got faith that this week these guys will be ready to roll. They're pros. We got a lot of pride. We know we got things to fix, and I expect us to go play well. There been any concerns about timing uh, between Ryan and his guys, or or is a practice week and and what they've done before enough? Sure, I, I, you've got to make sure that everybody's on the same page. It's it's you know he comes in in the, in the end of the game last week, but Ryan's got a lot of reps, and it helps when a guy's a veteran. You know it's. As a rookie, there's a little more unknown, but we know what what kind of player Ryan is, and Ryan got a lot of reps in, in the spring. And uh, as we mix and match personnel, and obviously in, in training camp and the preseason games, so we feel good about it, and we'll see it as the week goes.